along with the knight, the bishop is the other minor piece when we're talking about piece play and positional evaluation. Whereas bishops and knights are more powerful than pawns, but they are not as powerful as the rook or the queen, or really even the king for that matter. Bishops can move diagonally in any direction. So you can see they can go up and to the left, up to the right, and like this to create an X. So as we discussed in the knight example, this bishop can move from one corner all the way to the opposite corner in one move where it would take the knight multiple moves to do so. The downside with this is that this bishop can only ever control light colored squares as the bishop is the light squared bishop and it can only move diagonally. Diagonal moves mean that you will only be moving to a square of the same color as you are already on. So the light squared bishop can only move to light squares. That's good for the light squares, but bad for the dark squares. So for example, if we have a very strong light squared bishop, uh, the opponent would be wise to try and mount an attack and manipulate the weaknesses that could potentially exist on the dark squares because as strong, this could be the best bishop in the world, it will never be able to guard any of these four squares which are right next to it because it has the limitation of only being able to move on one color. That's where we're going to get into this topic called the bishop pair. There's no such thing as a knight pair, although I, I guess theoretically having two knights means you have a pair. But as far as a strategic positional advantage, there's no real positional advantage to having a knight pair per se, because knights can cover both colors of the board, one move at a time. Having both bishops is considered a static or positional advantage because you can have control over sweeping diagonals of both colors of the chessboard. So in this particular position, you, you neither have light square weaknesses nor dark square weaknesses because you have the light square bishop, which is the defender of all of the light squares, and you have the dark square bishop, which is the defender of all of the dark squares. Much like the knight, the bishop also has certain positions where it is happier and potentially less happy depending on the position of its own pieces and the position of its opponent's pieces. Remember the pro of the bishop is its movement. It can move from one side of the board completely to the other side in one move. Well, it takes the knight several moves to accomplish that same end. So as such, the bishop is going to prosper in positions where it can move quickly and take advantage of its mobility. We call these positions open positions. Okay, so for example, we could get into a position such as this, and this is called the Italian game. Uh, we'll talk about this a little bit later. Whereas this particular bishop is in on a open diagonal, and so we have that clear shot in potential attack on a square where the king could potentially be housed. And you see that there's not a bunch of pawns or even other pieces for that matter in the way or obstructing the mobility that this particular piece has. So in this particular open position, this is a relatively happy bishop because it can, it can move this way if it wants, it can move back, it can certainly move back if it likes, or it can move forward. There's really nothing obstructing it, so it's a relatively happy bishop because it has an open position to move around freely. Now, if we had a position like this, this particular bishop is now very sad, and we could even make it worse by putting some pawns here. And let's create a more locked position like that. Okay, this bishop is now extremely sad. Well, as the knight can try and move and jump over pieces, which is its own special talent, 
the bishop does not have that talent, so the bishop is stuck trying to move in a straight line to try and make itself active. So in this particular position, that's going to be extremely hard to do. Let me get my bishop back here. Whereas to make itself, it can't even go or take two moves to go from here to here because this pawn is blocking the way. We would have to move the queen and then maybe try and get it to come this way to be happy. But you can see that we're making many, many moves to try and get this bishop from being basically a glorified pawn, as you can see the pawns are defending each other in a pawn chain, to actually being an open and active piece where it has some scope over here. So remember, just as a review, knights favor more closed positions where they can use their ability to hop over obstacles that are in their way to get into better positions, as such as this knight right here. Whereas the bishop is going to thrive in more open positions where it's going to have more freedom of movement, it can use its God-given mobility as a strategic advantage to its handler.